hello viewers welcome to engineer hash civil engineer in this video i'm going to talk about different parts of a dam well many of you know about dam and different types of dams but as an engineer you should know some important parts of a dam and you should be able to identify those parts of a dam so in this video i'm going to discuss it and the list of important parts of a dam are spillway, reservoir, sluiceway or penstock, gallery, heel, toe, stilling basin, freeboard, maximum and normal water level, abutments and intake structures. And I have made a diagram. Uh, hope you like it. Uh, in this, using this diagram, you should be able to identify those important parts. Well, if you look at this grey color structure, this is the dam, the main concrete dam. And on the upstream side, you have the reservoir. This is the upstream side and this is the downstream side. The water flows, always flows from upstream side to downstream side. So this is the reservoir and this is the tail water. The very first structure I am going to talk about is spillway. Spillway is a structure which diverts excess water from the upstream side towards the downstream side safely. So this acts as a pipe which diverts the excess water from upstream side. So normally this bottom edge will be the normal water level. But at the time of floods this water level is raised and reaches the maximum water level. So this is the normal water level and this is the maximum water level. And here on the upstream side you have the heel of a dam. On the downstream side you have the toe of a dam. And you have the freeboard from the maximum water level to the crest. This part is the crest of the dam. So from maximum water level to the crest of the dam we call it as freeboard. Freeboard. And you have a gallery, an access gallery. This is an access way to the internal structures to access the diff to identify the problems of the power hose. This is an access for engineers or laymen. And here you have penstock or the sluice way. Penstock or sluice way is a pipe which collects water from the upstream side and used for the generation of hydroelectricity in the power hose. This water is used to run the turbines and generate electricity using this power hose and leaves water into the downstream side. So that is the purpose of the penstock or the sluice way. Both are the same. And here you have the stilling basin. Stilling basin is used to prevent the erosion caused by the water from the spillway. This stilling basin is used to prevent the erosion of the soil strata. So these are uh, the important parts you can identify in this picture. And next you have the hover dam. This is the picture of a hover dam. Here I am going to discuss about abutments. These rocky structures or called as abutments. All the force exerted by the water on the upstream side is diverted to these strong abutments. These are the abutments, these rocky structures. And here you have intake towers. These intake towers collect water from the upstream side of the, of the dam and they divert this water into the penstock in a controlled way. So that the water is used in generation of hydroelectricity. So that is the purpose of the intake towers. These are the few important parts of a dam which every engineer should know about. So with this video if you understand those parts please hit like button. You can subscribe my channel engineer hash and you can comment you can share this with your friends if it use if it is useful and you can send me feedback at this email id thank you very much for watching this video